don't throw your arms out yet. We're actually doing anything yet. Welcome back to Let's Play Through Off the Rails with the DS. Probably the last episode. But we still have somebody to challenge and win against again, so we never know, actually. I have some twins behind me. Interesting. But considering how much time we managed to waste trying to beat people before, the past few episodes up until now, was, was a piece of the track not loaded right then? When we went onto it? But it's also possible to spend the entire episode on this, too. I like how even though people aren't that happy, this is still my most profitable park by far. Anyway, so there's that one mime who's supposedly impressed by my coaster, but was actually on the other side of the park. Supposedly we have to beam out a game or something. At least that's what we were told, even though the mission, mission isn't telling us that. Where's the mime? Yeah, I know. Why? No, why that game specifically? Wait, wait, which which button is my slow button? That's my slow button, okay. Is it gonna be 100? It's gonna be 100, of course. Game! Okay, whatever you say, game. At least it's something I know I can beat. It just takes a while. So I play it illegitimately. Or so I managed to do something dumb and accidentally pick up the wrong fish or something messing it up, which is possible. It doesn't always give me the fish that I want to pick up. And actually putting it in the wrong place. And that just ends it immediately. You need to have a pretty good streak going for a pretty good amount of time in this game to win. Yeah, the games in this game get a little hardcore towards the end. Of course, I don't have the best idea since... We also actually have the green fish this time. But since I'm playing this game, oh, come on, pick up the fish. See, I'm trying to pick up the blue one, it picks up something else entirely. But towards the end, it has you playing all these games on the hardest difficulty. I don't know why the rainbow fish, I guess it says it's smaller and thus harder to pick up. The rainbow fish gives you more points even though you can put it anywhere. It's kind of weird. You're playing all games the hardest, the hardest difficulty, and to challenge you, you have to beat the high score. Meaning, basically, you just have to beat all the high scores in all the games. Or maybe just one select game you play over and over if you're particularly patient like that. Or have another choice like I do. See, I need to check before I place anything which fish I actually got. That's a big problem slowing me down here. Why did that fish not go in? See, and I'm, and I'm never gonna get that rainbow fish. I don't know if it just disappeared now or what. Yeah, it goes right into the crowd. Yeah, you just can't pick the freaking thing up. It just disappeared right on me right then. Right as my mouse was over it. As I was clicking on it, in fact. You can hear these things appear. But then you try to put them somewhere and they don't go. Anyways, I have no reason to keep this going, so whatever. Nothing was stopping you before. Mm hmm. You never tag against this whole thing is dumb. 
but I don't win anything for it. Game, give me stuff. No, I won't. I actually don't know what Ghost is even for. Okay. Supposedly, I mean, I built quite a few things in this one. It, they just don't work. What? I think that's supposed to be the ending that you get if you haven't actually completed all the missions, but I've completed all the missions, so now it doesn't make sense. So now I get this particular... I think it's supposed to tease how you unlock Earth Vader, essentially. Oh dear. Oh, I kind of like those things out of order. But no more additional cutscene for that? Okay, so everything done everywhere. So that's it. I figured I'd get an extra ending for that or something. So there's no, like, golden ending this game gives you or anything? It's kind of strange. Isn't it? Okay, just get over here. Get, get to HQ. This guy's not gonna... He's never gonna make it here. Let's just warp to HQ then. <laughs> okay. Well, that's everything here. Let's see what things we don't have here. Played a whole hundred minutes. Kind of weird. It's not that much time. But apparently it only counts time when you're running around your park. Never kept maximum happiness for that long. Mostly because I never played on a particular park for such a part for such a long period of time anyways. No, that's not gonna happen at all. It got a lot of money though. Eh. So I don't know if you get anything for completing those other trophies or not. We'll look, take a look. And so you can look at the other stuff you unlocked. Are there any more characters to unlock? Be all game masters. Manny, I'm curious who that is. I have no idea. That's unfortunate. It might be that character from Treasure Island or whatever it is. Something like that. Yeah, though. So I was wondering if there'd be something for being the game masters, but that's not something I have interest in doing, because playing games is kind of being the worst part of this game for me. Not because they're badly designed, it's just the way I'm playing this game doesn't work for that. So I'm getting who Chuck is. Maybe Chuck is the guy from... Um, Treasure Island or whatever, actually, I think about it. I don't know. Anyways, Leia. And Vader. I'll just leave that be. For the moment. And by for a moment, I mean like literally a single moment. Look at that. It's a Vader. He actually has... Oh, no. Stop. Actually has a shiny helmet, too. But, even better? Yes. Okay. And now there's nothing else to do, really, because we've completed all the parks and everything. Morty, do you have anything to show us here? Up there. Computer. The training manual. High scores aren't really a helpful thing right now. Actually, I'm pretty sure I beat a lot. So I think the idea is you beat the high scores and then you challenge people somehow. So I beat a lot of the high scores. Nice, a few of them. Okay, no, actually some of these are harder. Well, the prestige is the one you have to beat to win, isn't it? To win the, uh... That's being the game master, isn't it? I think. I don't quite recall. I, it's a little unfortunate just ignoring part of the game like that, but it just doesn't really work for me here. And I don't feel like I'm going to get much of anything out of it anyways. Why was pressing that trigger do whatever it just did? I don't know why it did that. Stop that. Again, look at... Well, he got our toy chest though before we run off. They're just, they're just the characters. They're models. Nothing interesting. And then all the games I haven't beat. I never even got that. Well, it's on Prestige, I think. Man, I'm kind of bummed actually I never even did this. Yeah, so playing on Prestige. Man, I didn't realize that playing on Prestige would do this. My god, some of these are kind of ridiculous though. Very ridiculous. Speaking getting through on points, you'd have to be getting. Even if you got every single shot you threw, that'd be tough. Yes, I apologize for not getting to show this, but it is what it is. 
I don't think it's so much that we're missing out on in any case. Yeah, suppressing so the off trigger just makes you elite for some reason. Okay, though. So in that case... Let's make sure we have this. But then... In any case... Does this game actually have credits? I hope so. There we go. It's strange this game doesn't seem to have, a, have an ending. Like, I figured something would happen. I do an action... Oh my god, game. Really? You're doing this to me? It's to keep us entertained, but you actually have... I won't look at the art anyways, though. That it looks a bit more interesting. Also, Whiplash? But this is the theme of the first game. What if I get something if I solve all these? Probably not. No, I keep seeing the same puzzles. That's dumb. It's just the easiest puzzles it keeps giving me. Well, whatever. Wait. Okay, so they really interspersed the credits between a lot of other things happening anyways, which is kind of weird. Anyway, so this was a strange, peculiar way to finish off Thrillville, because I'm having played the other more, let's say, full games. This is a different experience. It's in a different style entirely. Not really for the better, although it has its own quirks and charms and whatnot, I guess. I thought I'd get something new. I was going to be able to beat this one, because I'm in part because I'm not really going to try to beat it. I guess it just kind of naturally progresses in difficulty as you get through the credits, as opposed to as you you beat them. But yeah, playing Whiplash is kind of weird. Now I'm only having to hope that I'm not going to have issues with the copyright because of this music. But, so I'm happy to have played it just for the sake of having seen what it is, but it's a really weird different interpretation that... You can really tell it's not really trying to be the best. It's kind of weird, though, because it feels like a like licensed game or something in quality. I think it's just a guy standing on the left there. Feels like some weird knockoff licensed game, but it's not. It's a full game in the sense that it, it's not made to promote anything like most games of this caliber are. It's straight up another incarnation of the three little games, and it's this. It's kind of weird. Whoa, I don't know the elfish being so huge. With different characters and everything, it's kind of odd. And then the parent lack of ending? I don't know what else I could box on this. I guess if there's 100% for getting all the toys and whatnot, but I wouldn't think that's the case. I, if so, again, I apologize for not showing that, because that, that, that would actually be an important thing to show. But it's not something I'm willing to put the time and effort into. Just I don't think it would be enjoyable to watch in the slightest. I do think that the worst things about this play there's by far have been the game-related things. Also, we keep showing the same pictures now. Game! Why couldn't you have just, like, instead of recycling things, if you just put credits over every image instead of every other one, you would have had to reuse at least as many pictures. Whatever. But, yeah, this was an interesting... I don't know what to call this game. Part of it is that I'm just missing out a lot by playing the game the way I am on an emulator. I'm not usually of the opinion that playing on an emulator attracts some experience in the slightest, but... Here, it's just because of the DS's unique control scheme that I can't emulate. I'm trying to use the word emulation here, but that I can't really recreate. I could if I had a, I could to a decent extent if I actually had like a tablet and stylus, like a Wicom or something, but I don't. So I'm stuck with what I'm doing here, playing with the controller and my mouse and keyboard. My mouse being the, a laptop's mouse trackpad, which is not the best way of doing this, to say the least. But you have ideas, uh, you have new ideas came in here that really wanted to fight the original games either, like mascots and things like that. The monuments having, and basically the slightest amount of importance. Be able to actually change the design of them, even though you only had three very similar designs to choose from. Be able to change the design of some of the set pieces, and by that I mean one set piece in each park was kind of nice too. I did appreciate that. The song ends, but did the credits end? I actually haven't been looking at the credits much myself to see if they're actually looping or not. I know the pictures are, but that's just because I don't have much pictures, probably. We'll just have to see if the music loops, but that doesn't mean much either. So I might just stay here for a while and we'll see what happens. But that it's definitely not the most impressive way of finishing off the Thrillville series. I mean, strictly speaking, I haven't ever actually played 
the quote unquote full version of Off the Rails in the sense that I've only played the PSP version and the second one, so you can serve this part of the same thing, which it isn't in the slightest. But I don't really the only difference as far as I can tell in the PSP version is that you have the graphics from the first fruit or from the the original Thrillville, which I prefer. I find the character designs and the the redesigned character designs and off the rails really uncanny actually on the Wii and other versions, so I never really regretted it in the slightest. Plus, only PSP version, I'm pretty sure, has that glitch where you can go through the ground in Candyville, which I love. I've tried it on the Wii version because I happen to know somebody that had the Wii version once and which did not work, which was the saddest thing. That means that that's all there is. I mean, Thrill it never really made a name for itself or anything like that. Somehow it got a second game, but with games like this one at least, or not plural, but this particular game, I can see nothing will come after it. But I always thought that the original was nice and that the PSP version of Off the Rails and or console version of Off the Rails was really, really nice and a great improvement. So it's a bit unfortunate to see that it kind of stopped. It's an interesting take on the whole park management idea that plenty of people have tried out, but it's a bit different from what you usually see. It's less sandboxy. I've always called it Roller Coaster Tycoon for people with short attention spans, that usually meaning a younger audience, because that's totally what it is. It's a lot more on rails, no pun intended. But it gives you things to do. And it has different kinds of gameplay and things like that, unlike what you see in other similar games. But of course, Frontier Development has been working on a lot of things, anyways. Uh, I don't know if Plant Coaster is still much of a thing, but they've been doing that, for instance, in some capacity. I don't know if they have plans for doing anything else after that right now, but the developers of this game are still very much alive and kicking. I think we have actually the credits, so I'm just gonna cut things off here then. So, even though Thrillville itself it doesn't continue onwards, we still get to see more of what this particular company is making. Not anything I intend to play myself because the park management simulator just isn't my kind of thing. But for those of you who are into that sort of thing, no sadness needs to be in your eyes or any other part of your body because the spirit still lives on, just in a different form. But still in some very impressive and cool ways, as you've seen playing Coaster and did immense, amazing amount of customizability that game has and the things people will be able to make in it. But in any case, that being done, that's all for the Thrillville games. As strange as in it as it is. This game has the title themes from both Off the Rails and the original. It's kind of weird. But in any case, I'll see you guys next time. Next playthrough of whatever. In fact, I have an idea. But I'll talk about what that is when we actually start it next week. For now, that's it for Thrillville. I'll see you guys whenever we do whatever else. There's a person falling out that coaster I just now noticed from the top screen. That also might be. <laughs> Let's. <laughs> I'm not really so sure how long our park's gonna last when that sort of thing's happening, but oh well. Maybe all the thrill parks just kinda got shut down because of stage issues and things not being fixed and whatnot. That's probably what actually happened. Anyways, more to bring the like and Sparkle! The Sparkle series, unfortunately, the most unfortunate casualty of the death of Thrillville series. We'll forever live on our memories and not really much else. Anyways, see you then, guys!